Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is the leading cause of cervical cancer. To understand how HPV infection leads to the development of abnormal cervical cells and, if left untreated, to cervical cancer, let's first take a look at a healthy cervix. The vagina opens to the outermost section of the cervix, the ectocervix, while the three centimeter structure connecting the vagina to the uterus is the endocervix. The transformation zone, where the endocervix joins the ectocervix, is the transition between the columnar, glandular cells of the endocervical canal and the squamous epithelial cells that line the ectocervix. The typical site of an HPV infection is the transformation zone of the cervix. Up to 9 out of 10 cervical cancers are squamous cell carcinomas. These cancers form in the cells of the ectocervix, and the cancer cells have features of squamous cells under the microscope. Most of the other cancers are adenocarcinomas. Adenocarcinomas are distinguished as cancers that develop from the mucus-producing glandular cells of the endocervix. Cervical adenocarcinomas seem to have become more common in the past 20 to 30 years. The epithelial lining of the ectocervix sits above the basal cell layer, directly adjacent to the dermis. HPV most commonly infects basal cells through small micro-tears in the epithelium, typically following sexual contact. It's here that stem cells replicate and then differentiate to become the cells that make up the epithelium. Infection of these cells by HPV can lead to a productive HPV infection in which new copies of the virus are produced. As they mature, infected epithelial cells support the replication of viral DNA and production of capsid proteins needed for viral packaging and release once the infected cells reach the surface of the epithelium. Further progression of the HPV infection results in changes in the epithelium that are detectable by pap testing. Even HPV infections that produce abnormal cervical cells are often cleared by the immune system, but some HPV infections are persistent. These persistent infections can lead to the spread of the virus to adjacent cells, increased expression of viral genes, and more dysregulation of cell division. CIN can be categorized by severity into stages graded from 1 to 3, with CIN3, SIN3, representing the immediate precursor to cervical cancer. If HPV is not cleared by the immune system, and if lesions are not detected and effectively treated, cervical cancer can develop. Fortunately, with adherence to regular cervical cancer screenings, CIN can be detected before it progresses to cervical cancer. Furthermore, screening with PAP plus HPV together provides a two-pronged approach to detection of cervical disease by testing for both HPV gene expression and the presence of abnormal cervical cells. Screening with PAP plus HPV together detects more precancer and cancer than either test used alone.